What is good, YouTube? It's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today I wanted to give you a good warm-up to do pre-game, as I know many of you guys are in season now. It is actually a pretty good idea to work out during game days. You can do a light workout or a little bit heavier, just depending on how soon you get that workout and how far you separate that workout from your actual game. Right? I always suggest getting a lot of shooting in, and the most important question that I always ask is where do you normally get your touches from? Where do you get your catches from, and how do you get into that? Those are really important things. I'll further explain that in a little bit. But what you want to do is get a really good feel for the ball. So if you're a ball handler, make sure that you go through a good little dribbling warm-up. If you're not a ball handler, it's still a good idea to get a good feel for the ball. So you can do a couple one-ball drills, a couple two-ball drills, something basic just to get your handles loose. And then, of course, we want to move on to our form shooting. And then from there, we can begin our workout. So back to the question that I asked earlier, where do you get your touches or where do you get your catches? It's also important to understand how you get into them. So if your team runs a lot of down screens for you and you catch it on the wing, it's important that you kind of go through those similar actions to get the ball in the wing and then go off similar movements that you would or have done prior. If you get a lot of catches in the corner, then you should probably work out of the corner. If you get a lot from the top, then you want to work from the top. If you get a lot of pick and rolls or you get a lot of isolations or you catch the ball at the nail or you catch the ball at the high post, you want to get a lot of touches and a lot of repetitions from where you catch the ball in the game and how you score off of those catches. It's a great idea to run through some of the plays and catch the ball at the same spots that you will be in the game, shooting the same shots and shooting some of the same options, whether it's a jab step or whether it's a post up or whether you catch it and come off a pick and roll or you're setting ball screens. No matter how you get into your catches, it's really, really important that you go through those motions so you get a good feel for things. I know for me, I love to come off ball screens and shoot a lot of mid-range, so I work on that a lot. Or I'll come off the ball screen and attack the basket. I really, really like using ball screens. So a lot of my workouts, I use ball screens. But of course, there are other parts of the game that you want to work on. So if you're doing something different, then you need to make sure that you're working on the things that will help you to be the most efficient player that you can be come game time. If you get a lot of opportunities to shoot, then I highly suggest that you work on a lot of your shooting. Probably get up a couple hundred shots, get a good feel for it at every spot on the floor, and especially the spots where you're going to get the most catches and when you shoot the most. If you get a lot of isolations, then try to work on your handles and your dribble moves. That will help you to create shots. Once you've got a good sweat in and you feel really comfortable and prepared, then you should be good to go for your game later that day. If this helps you out, make sure to drop a like, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. By the way, I finally joined the movement, and I now have a TikTok, so follow me on TikTok at our 2 bball I'll be following some people back. I'll catch you guys in the next one. P.S. This is one of the cleanest hezzies I've ever hit. Let me know down in the comments below about one of the best fakes you've ever had.